my name is Kathy Argentar, and I'm the manager of Institutional Giving for Pilot Light. I'm here today with another episode of Family Meal. Um, here we are in the Argentar household, and today we're gonna be talking about how to make scrambled eggs. I won't be doing the cooking. Um, I'd like to introduce two of my family members who will be. Uh, first of all, my daughter, Amy. Amy, say hi, Amy. Hi. Actually, when did you start cooking, would you say? Probably around 12 or 13. Right, so she's actually been cooking a while and she's what I would call a creative cooker. So like a lot of times she'll like make things, mix them together. We are not really sure what's gonna happen and it's usually good. I'd also like to introduce at this time my husband, Dave. This is Dave. Hi all. Um, and Dave has also started picking up some of the cooking. Um, Dave, would you like to share like what made you get interested in cooking? Oh, I've always cooked a little bit, but in the last couple of years, I really sort of got into the whole process of it. I put some music on, follow the recipes, and I also like getting creative with them. Great, so everybody's doing it their own way. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally step down, and I'm gonna let the experts do the cooking. See you later. So today we are going to be making four eggs, two for me and two for him. And what we have here are all the ingredients we're using today, eggs, uh, we're gonna have some butter that we're gonna use to coat the pan. We've got some shredded cheese, which I like to add. You don't need to do that, uh, but I like to add that. And a few uh, spices here. We've got some pepper, we've got some salt. I like adding uh, dill and a little onion powder, but you guys can always, that's the beauty part of cooking, you can add uh, different spices, different ingredients, but there are lots of different ways you can make eggs. This is what we're going with today. Yeah, and just make sure you wash your hands first. Very important. Uh, first step of making eggs is to crack some eggs. And what you do is you take this and you sort of crack it on the side of the bowl, drop it in there, and we're gonna do that uh, three more times. So there's four eggs, put the shells aside. And what you're gonna do with these eggs to make scrambled eggs is you're gonna take a whisk if you have one, but if you don't have a whisk, you can use a fork. And you're gonna do this. Don't wanna do it too hard, especially if you're using a smaller bowl like this because you wind up having eggs uh, shooting out all over the counter. You and don't want that. My tip is that holding the whisk like a pen or a pencil really helps because if you hold it too like firmly, you can get too aggressive and the eggs will go everywhere. Now, at this point, you can start adding uh, a little pepper if you want. Just sort of eyeball it. You don't want to go too nuts with that. Same with a little bit of salt. Now, I like to add the onion powder now as well, but then the dill I like to hold on to until we put the eggs in the pan. So now that this is in here, we whisk it one more time. So now we are ready to start cooking scrambled eggs. So first thing you do with the help of a grown up is you turn on the stove and you're gonna want to put it on just around medium heat. You're gonna wanna put some butter or you can use cooking spray um, in the pan and let that sort of push it around a little bit, let it melt. And then you're gonna wanna pour your eggs in. You've gotta get it all, but as much as you can. Okay, and then this is the point where I like to add dill and then Take a spatula or a spoon and you mix things around and pretty soon you'll see little things that look like scrambled eggs popping up um, in the pan. So during this time you're going to probably want to add any other spices, not just the dill. You can add anything right now. Typically with cheese, you should add that a little bit later than the spices. That's right. Just because the cheese um, will need a little bit of time to melt right. and it's just best to add that in. Right, so once, once the eggs are partially cooked. Right, so that's about right about now. Thanks for that, Amy. And then you're gonna mix this the cheese into the eggs. A really important thing, if you were wondering when are the eggs done, you have to make sure there is no liquid part. You don't want it to be watery because that means they're not properly cooked. These are looking like scrambled eggs. So once they get to that consistency um, where the liquid is gone, and you can see that here, you can go ahead and turn off the burner or have a grown-up do that for you and sit there and now we're gonna get ready to serve these. All right, so now it is time to dig into some eggs. You can just take them right directly from the pan and put them right next to a nice piece of toast. Amy here has put jam on her toast because that's how she rolls, but the way I roll is I like to put these on top of the toast itself. It makes a little sort of an open-faced, you know, egg sandwich there. And then there you go, just distribute those and, and here we are. We have scrambled eggs uh, and toast. Great, All right. let's see, let's give these a try. Let's give these a try and see what happens. Mmm, really see. good. Let's see if I agree with you. Very good. 
we have somebody else who would like to try some eggs as well. All right. Try this. You've done it again. Delicious. I'm glad you like them. One more family member probably needs to try some eggs. Don't you think? I, I think, think so. so. Okay, let's see. Two paws up. Thanks so much for joining us for this family meal. Thanks to Amy and Dave for doing all the cooking and for Camille for doing the filming. We really appreciate you joining us, coming to our Food Education Center on our website at pilotlightchefs.org or you can tag us on Instagram at pilotlightchefs, um, hashtag PLFamilyMeal. Hope to see you again here soon. Thanks so much. Bye. We want to know how you and your family are enjoying this recipe and making it together. So tag us. Find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Pilot Light Chefs, hashtag PL Family Meal.